Greetings everyone. A new maintenance release is out for version 6.9. Let's talk about it in today's Ham Radio Deluxe video newsletter. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so I just published a maintenance release, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you. I always want to make sure that the folks that we are serving understand how important they are as a customer. So, for all of you who've been patient, thank you very much. We, we appreciate you. The maintenance release is available, and I want to talk about what we, we did here. We eliminated the AVX2 requirement, and uh, this will enable PCs to work going back to maybe 2009. Um, as I've said before, we don't have a requirement for Windows 11. We just have a requirement now for AVX. While we don't officially support Windows 10, so long as you've got a computer that will run the software, off you go. We're, we're good to go. That'll take care of a, a lot of the topics. Um, there was a case sensitive issue with call signs that had to do with the license manager. Uh, we also eliminated cases where the license manager was consuming extra seats on the install. Uh, when HamQTH was used as a call sign method, the country was coming up as none. That along with 24 other items uh, have been resolved and I'll post the link to the release notes in the in the uh, description content of the video because everyone will ask what's in the what's in the maintenance release it's there's a lot of stuff that's going to go through the maintenance releases and going to the release notes will always be able to show you what's in the latest release so where are we since we did the initial release of 69 we have accumulated aside from the things that are in this last release, there are 19 more items that people have brought to our attention. Most of them are minor, so where it says normal, I'm going to call it minor. A lot of these things in the normal category are the way things are displayed or the way, you know, things are described or labeled and so on, so they're not, they're not major. Um, there are three high items. One has to do with how frequencies above 144 megahertz are exporting which someone brought to my attention. So I tested it and found what was going on. It, it does affect how they're being uploaded to Logbook of the World because above 144 megahertz, the frequency is being exported in hertz instead of megahertz. And that's confusing Logbook of the World. There's also a case where the band isn't uh, populated for frequencies above 144 megahertz. So uh, that along with some false alarms that no one's brought to my attention, but I've been complaining about this for a while. It's actually something that goes back to 6.8, and uh, I, I want to get it fixed, so I raised it up to a high level. So those are the, the top items. Oh, the, the one I said, uh, there was one urgent item I put there where I had a crash earlier today when I was doing something. No one else has reported this, so it's completely just me. And it, maybe it's happened to somebody and they haven't reported it. But anyway, so there's one crash scenario there. Just to be clear, we don't have a whole bunch of people calling saying it, it's crashing. As a matter of fact, the, the feedback has been probably 10 to 1 more positive than negative. So, you know, I don't want anybody to think, oh my gosh, they've got a whole lot of bugs they need to take care of. It's really not. I mean, before we started the 6.9 development cycle, there were probably 150 bugs logged in um, for logbook but you know we're now down to 40 of which um, 19 of those are probably related to 6.9 development but the other uh, the other what I guess would be 21 of them are really kind of I'm going to say old they've been around for a while and some of them depend upon changes in the other apps like rig control or dm780 to fix them so we'll get those um, as we continue forward with those other um, other topics, so 15 minor items there, and then uh, then there's the the 21 or the 16 plus five that are in the the bucket that are kind of in the backlog, not major, so pretty good shape. 
So why not? <laughs> so why don't we publish this maintenance release sooner? Some people would say, well, you can't release this until every single thing is fixed. On the other hand, um, you know, there's a point of view that you can't hold this when the, the most major items that people have, have asked about are fixed. So we're basically resisting the temp temptation to hold it all for some big bang moment. So what we're going to do really is have a release cadence where every five to 10 days, we're going to continue doing releases until the remaining 19 items are done. And then, uh, and we'll continue that approach until no new items come in. So between now and let's just say the end of the year, we could probably have another six releases or so. And so, uh, but we got to take them through the testing process and, and all that. But that's, that's the plan. I mean, if we get all, let's say, uh, whatever the number was, 19 items, if we get all the 19 items done, then we're just going to, we probably will slow down and, and stop and then um, everything's you know, more stable than what it's ever been. As a matter of fact, I think it's more stable than it's ever been today. Um, we've moved a lot of things around, and when people have said, well, hey, how do you get this to work, or how do you find that? We've moved things around a little bit, and I'll do some videos on how those things have moved around. Someone asked about configuring WSJTX and um, Logbook and, and so on. I've done a video on that. It's not different from the way it's always been done, but it's moved around a little bit. So that's what's going on there. So what you should expect over the coming um, days is um, we're going to do maintenance releases every five to 10 days. Uh, I'm going to continue doing how-to videos. Uh, I'm going to continue um, getting through the, you know, the tech support tickets with Ferry and, and Kevin pitching in to get, get them some help because people are calling asking questions about how to do this and so on. So that's what our approach is. And um, that's that's what I wanted to let everybody know today. So with that, go get the maintenance release from hamreodeluxe.com by clicking the download link at the top and get going with that. Happy to take your feedback. And uh, we do appreciate all the feedback we've gotten, good or bad. It's helpful. And so, um, you know, a little less sarcasm would be really great. But we're working hard to make sure this is great software for all of you, so thanks. I'm Mike, WA9PIE73.